Welcome everybody to a very special video because today we've reached 7500 subscribers here on the channel and I thought I might just thank you all for being here and watching my videos and I want to welcome all the new ones because that is quite a lot of people and uh, yeah I thought for a little special episode you might want to see how it looks behind the scenes when I do my videos so I want to record a tutorial today and I thought I might bring you into that and show you how I'm doing this. You can already see my screens here. I've got two of them now beside each other because uh, it is really good to have two screens and you can see on the left screen there's the open broadcaster software recording my Minecraft and audio and here in front you can see my microphone. It is a Blue Yeti. I've shown that already in my little desk tour for I guess the 4000 subscriber special it was. So if you are interested in what I've got here, go back to that video. But today I want to show you the progress of me doing a video. So let's hop into it on the screen. So the video that I would like to record today is a tutorial that you might have already seen now. And it is the Bouncy Castle. I haven't recorded the tutorial yet, so I will do it today with you. And first up, I would like to do the introduction. Sometimes for tutorials I'm doing the introduction last, because then I have it already built in my tutorial world. But since this is standing around here, I am doing the introduction today first and I guess I would just hop into the introduction therefore I would turn the bouncy castle on to show you guys what it is doing and then I am doing my usual hey guys in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can build a bouncy castle that I've already built on Manuel's birthday in his space so here you can see it it is bouncing slime blocks up and down and also chickens as we can see over there so let's hop into the tutorial world and there I will show you how we can build this up. Next I will actually hop into the tutorial world and build this thing up as often as I need to do to memorize how to build it and find a good way to explain the mechanics behind it. So that's what I'm going to do now and um, since you know the tutorial already I guess it won't be that interesting for you to watch me doing that. I would just quickly grab some materials that I will need to build this and uh, then I will count also the blocks that I will need to build it and put it in a chest so you can see then in the end this. To build this you will need the following materials. 12 redstone dust, 3 repeaters, 1 comparator, 1 lever, 2 redstone torches, 4 sticky pistons, 48 slime blocks and of course some non-movable blocks, some building blocks and some blocks to decorate your bouncy castle. And when I'm done with that, I will take down the stuff that I built before and start building up the tutorial. You want to start with a hole that is 7x7 blocks. Then on top of the redstone in the middle you want to put one non-movable block. And then we just need to connect everything. So we want to bring the redstone down to the torches. Next we want to take care of the slime blocks. So you have always 12 uh, slime blocks attached to each other and then in between these towers I was building upside down stairs like this. So until then have a great day. And when I'm done with that I'm of course not done with doing the tutorial because there's more stuff now to be done with the editing so I'll meet you in my editing software. I have now already loaded all the clips into the movie studio that I'm using for editing and the first clip I already have down here to show you what I need to do with it. So I will just uh, let this run now. So the video that I would like to record today is a tutorial that you must be standing around here. I am doing the introduction today show you guys what it is doing and then I'm doing my usual hey guys in today's tutorial I and when I found the part where I need to do the cut, I will just move the cursor to there and cut this together. And that I will do now with all the clips, cut them into the right order and meet you then when I will do the rendering. So when the cutting is done, it will look like this. And in the beginning, we have the introduction, then what materials we need to build this and then the actual tutorial. So me building the redstone, me building the slime block stuff and me building the surrounding. And then if I don't forget, I will also place a like reminder somewhere. So maybe here, and as you can see, this is all black now. So I will have to go into the uh, video effects and put a uh, chroma key here on top. So uh, the black stuff is gone and you can only see the like reminder thing. And I guess I will place the second one somewhere in the end here. So uh, I guess this will lag now a little bit. 
And But you then can see the how it bouncy uh, shows up is already done. And so I uh, then I can just render the thing. So I will click on make movie. I will save it to my hard drive. I will go into the advanced options and uh, I need to quickly change the folder here because uh, it's a tutorial. So we should save it into the tutorials folder and we should name this uh, bouncy castle and tutorial. So like this, uh, if I did misspell this now, it uh, doesn't matter because I will have to change it in the end anyways. And uh, I'm doing this with the main concept AVC AAC um, and uh, doing it also with um, CUDA acceleration. <laughs> I talked about this earlier already in another episode. So uh, then I can just click render and I will have to wait until the rendering is done. And then I will show you the next step. Cause the rendering takes some time. I can use this time to already do the thumbnail for the video and therefore I brought up Minecraft in uh, shaders so I can make my screenshot right here. So I would do this just right now. I guess I made the screenshot and then I open up this screenshot in paint.net. That's how I make my thumbnails. And I guess I should close Minecraft. Otherwise the recording will lag a little bit because of the rendering. It's taken up all the CPU usage. And uh, then I'm bringing up um, the uh, overlay for that. So tutorials is right here. And I overlay the mask for the tutorials, change a little bit of settings here. That's my usual stuff that I'm doing. And uh, then put the text on top. So right here, wrong layer put it on this one here. I would do bouncy castle and uh, put this in the right position. Zoom out to take a look if this looks good, but I think that's fine. So I can just put it into one layer and save it. Then I'll have to check how big that is. 1.4 megabyte is okay. And I can save it and my thumbnail is already done. When the rendering is done, I will have to upload it to YouTube and therefore I already opened the upload thing so I can just drag and drop it into here and I will do it as scheduled because today I'm in time. It is plenty of time left to upload the thing. Most of the times I am not in time and then I will upload it to public right away. So it is maybe a few minutes before or after the time that I'm usually setting, which is um, yeah, 2 p.m. for me. So like this, and then it's a few minutes before or after, then I can put in my thumbnail that I just created, which is right here. And uh, then I will put the description and the text and also a message that will appear then on Twitter and uh, on Google Plus. And uh, yeah, then the upload is done and you can enjoy the video. I hope that you enjoyed this little behind the scenes video. If you did, let me know in the comments. I'm super happy to um, broke through the 7,500 mark. That was a quite huge number for me on the way to the 10,000. So yeah, thanks for staying with me. Thanks for watching my videos, commenting, liking, and uh, telling your friends about my channel. That's always nice. And I hope then to see you in the next video again, I guess on Thursday when we do something special on uh, yeah, the new Reador server again. I have already recorded a few clips and I guess you will like that. So stay tuned for that and until then have a great day.